r slash ask reddit what are some legal ways to annoy a bullying neighbor ask his wife about the young blonde that was at their house a week or so later call a blonde escort to his house while his wife is there your go-to way to annoy your neighbor is to just straight up ruin their marriage i like your style op asks for ways to annoy their neighbor this guy here instantly gets out the ducking murder weapon I had an a-hole neighbor once and when she wasn't home I'd point a laser pointer at her window and her cat would destroy her blinds. It was awesome. Did this to a neighborhood bully who regularly abused his elderly mother. The woods across the street made for the perfect spot to hide. He'd come out yelling threats to us. He called the police on us a couple times. But we were great at playing innocent kids. Cops didn't seem to take his whining seriously and we tormented him for months. Sah. Many areas have an adult protective services agency which is dedicated to protecting the elderly and disabled. If you know of an elderly or disabled adult who is being abused, or of any other domestic abuse, please contact the authorities. Domestic abuse is a crime. Elder abuse is a crime. People need help. Contact your local police or appropriate government agency for help. It's not nosy. It's looking out for each other. Have your friends randomly park their cars right in front of his house. This pissed people off enormously. It does a lot with me. I'm seriously considering painting my garage bright pink. It's white. And my house is grey. A neighbor complained recently that they didn't match. Pink it is then. There was this house in Wisconsin that I used to drive by. It was purple with giant pink polka dots. The yard was well landscaped with flowers. Except the flower pots were toilets. Dozens of toilets filled with dirt and flowers. I learned later the guy got fined by the city for having flaking paint. And an unkept front yard. So now they can't complain with the fresh paint and landscaping. Man. I recommend prettying up the garage super nice with modern hardware and decorations that don't match your house. Change every little thing so they don't match. Would make him extra salty. If you have his phone number give it to the insurance companies online for them to call him about changing insurance. They will call for months from different numbers so he can't block them. What if they end up saving money though? They won't. Look up your local sound ordinances. Usually during the day you play whatever you want as loud as you want. I'm sure he likes the song What's New Kitten Cat by Tom Jones. Take this further, purchase noise cancelling headphones. Good ones and soundproof a single room. Hang drapes, buy some cheap noise reducing foam act, and buy some earplugs. Play the music next to his wall in the soundproofed room for like 5 hours straight through the day. No one outside the building can hear it, and neither can you. Only he can. This but instead of music, blast the recording of a smoke detector low battery beep. Play bagpipes without learning how to play bagpipes. Also works quite well with the saxophone. Can confirm. My dad took up the saxophone when I was 12. Due to the timing coinciding with a particular movie release, the saxophone became known as the Horn of Gondor. Send an email to all Jehovah Witness churches and challenge them to come and convert you. Give them your neighbor's address. PFFFT. Amateurs. Give it to the Scientologists and tell them they inherited millions and looking for direction in life. Yep, but isn't that like inviting a vampire into your neighborhood? What if it works? Have a lawyer draft a cease and desist letter and mail it to them via certified mail. Afterwards if the issue persists call the cops on them for every instance of bullying. And write it all down. And eventually take them to court. Edit. Also, get cameras and set them up around the perimeter of your house so you catch your neighbor's shenanigans on video. We did this and it worked. What were the issues that the person was doing if it's not too personal? Sign them up for all the mailing lists. R slash freebies often has magazine subscriptions. Great. What are they gonna do with 40 subscriptions to Vibe magazine? Poster E46 BMW M3 on Craigslist with 50k original miles for $18,000. Put your neighbor's phone number on the ad. This would be hilarious for the day or two the ad is live, or an Integra Type R with 15k miles for $9,000. Take up playing with loud power tools very early in the morning. A jackhammer is a good start. I think a metal blade on a circular saw with some sheet metal would be good also. Put copious amounts of bird seed in their yard. 
birds, squirrels, and other wildlife will come and ruin the grass. Some of the seeds might grow. It's great. Creative idea. But in most places this wouldn't be legal. Putting items on someone else's land without consent is definitely a form of trespass here. True. My husband would freeze round up and then toss the ice cubes onto the grass. It's ice and melts and then kills the lawn in spots. If he's straight, buy him a subscription to a gay porn mag. Hello. You've subscribed to r slash cat facts. Tell me a cat fact. Buy a nice or beat up vehicle that is still roadworthy and park it on the street in front of their home. Legal. Make sure it is licensed and street legal. Put a security camera facing it and another in it facing the guy's home. Have the camera hidden well. If you think he will vandalize it, if he has a wife live in girlfriend, wait till you know only she is at home. Call a few times a week and when she answers hang up. Do this for a while. Then, one day, have a woman friend of yours call. Pause when it is answered. Make a frustrated sigh and then finally ask if he is there. Have her avoid any questions the woman asks. Hang up when she says he isn't home. Do enough people have landlines these days to make the second suggestion a reasonable one? My parents still have a landline. It's literally nothing but robber calls and solicitors. I don't know why they don't just unhook the damn thing. I had four young men who were blatantly selling meth in the house next door to me. They thought there was nothing I could do about it. But they were wrong. I started video recording every person who drove up to that house. Their license plate as well as everyone inside. You can't believe how business slowed down in such a hurry. After about two weeks I called the cops and gave them the recordings. About two weeks after that, the house was abandoned. They didn't burn down your house or slash your tires? Nope. And I would be yelling at them from outside while doing it. Asking if their parents knew they were at a crack house. Did they know I was filming them in their car? I was pissed. Not afraid. They had vehicles too and they cost a lot more than mine. Probably not entirely legal, but still a good way to mess with his head. Step 1. Take a piss in a frying pan or any other container that would fit in a freezer. The height of the fluid shouldn't be higher than a couple of millimeters. Step 2. Place said frying pan in freezer. Wait long enough for it to get entirely solid. Step 3. Remove the now frozen piss from the frying pan. You will now have a frozen icy disc made of piss. Step 4. Slide the disc under your neighbor's door. Be sure you do it at a time when your neighbor won't notice, so there's enough time for the disc to melt. Your neighbor will end up with a puddle of piss in his hallway and a lot of questions. Just shove your coke in the mail slot and cut out the middleman. Assert dominance. Mentally unbalanced bullies don't like their threatening behavior being recorded as it can be used in court as evidence against them. You can get an entry level security camera system with 4 cameras at Costco for $160 although I would recommend investing in a better system. It's perfectly legal to record your own property as well as public property. You can also get fake cameras at Harbor Freight for $8 too. Pro tip, fake cameras often come with a red LED that blinks. Don't put the battery in. The only security cameras that have red blinking LEDs are fake. Crims know this. If I have to get up on a ladder, I'm going to install real cameras. Colon. Okay, it said annoy. Not kill like some of you have posted. I do wonder if shrinks read this shit sometimes to get ideas on what patients they might be in for this day and age. But in saying that, to annoy, you need a harmonica. Cable tie said harmonica to somewhere behind the grill of said bully's car. Make sure it is facing the right way. Lovely music tunes for all and the best part is when they stop. So does the music. P.S. It works. My mate did this to a fellow truckie. They drive B-doubles and he put one under the wing mirror on the truck as a joke. Scared the crap out of him. P.P.S. I think talking to him might be the best resolution. A zip tie around a half shaft also makes an interesting noise. Really interesting noises if you use a stainless steel zip tie. Forking or soap flaking the lawn is fun as well. Forking the lawn. Stick plastic forks tines down in the ground. When the lawn mower hits them they make one hell of a racket. Soap flaking the lawn. Make sure the soap flakes don't contain bleach. Best ones to go with are biodegradable so they don't kill the grass. Sit back and wait for it to rain. The lawn will start foaming. I like this, 
but fortunately, me and all my neighbors like and respect each other. Thank god. You could very easily change that. I had a cheap ass neighbor that bought a second hand above ground pool and pump. The pump made a loud annoying screeching bearing noise 24-7. Within minutes of Goofy powering up the pump, a bunch of us went outside to figure out what the noise was. I mentioned to Goofy that his pump is really loud. Goofy shrugs his shoulders. A couple weeks of this go by. I used free audio editing software to make a long file of a bearing noise mp3 file I found online. I played the file super loud from the attic space in my shed which bordered the property line near Goofy's new pool. It sounded like the pump was getting really bad. Finally, Goofy comes outside and starts listening from various spots in his yard. Hump. He unplugs his pool pump and still hears a loud bearing noise, then starts to look around at all of his neighbors backyards. I trip the breaker for my shed, giggling like a little school girl. Goofy didn't get the point though. The pool pump continued to scream 24-7. Eventually another neighbor gave the pump a tune up by pouring salt water in the pump windings when Goofy was away. There were a couple of bright flashes and then the breaker tripped. Goofy needed a new pump. Another neighbor MHHMM. Well in his defense you can obviously tell it was salt water. And not just tap water. Because of the cool ocean breeze. Just call the city bylaw officers for every little infraction. My neighbor specifically called the city because I parked in front of her gate. Which used to be a driveway. If she puts her garbage out the night before garbage day. That's a call to the city. And a $300 fine. She also rents her upstairs apartment on room sharing websites. Illegal here. So the city will get a call about that. I'm also considering nagging the city to replace the sidewalk curb in front of her house. Both so that it's no longer a bylaw infraction. And for the inconvenience of having the land in front of her home torn up for weeks months. If he has a swimming pool, go and drop a mattress in it. It soaks itself full of water and gets super heavy. Usually takes a crane to get it out. Get a cow to walk up their stairs. Cows like to walk upstairs but not down. And it usually takes a crane to get them out. Get a student from a 1980s California based karate dojo to move into their home. They are huge bullies themselves. And it usually takes a crane to get rid of them. I've seen too many episodes of Fear Thy Neighbor on it to think this is a good idea. My grandfather has young neighbors who are always up late blasting club music until 11pm. My granddad goes to bed at 8pm. And he basically can't sleep at all when they do this. So what does he do? Every time they keep him up with their music. He wakes up bright and early at 6am the next day. Stands to attention on his back porch with his hand on his heart and absolutely belts the Lord's Prayer at max volume on his sound system. Some version sung by a huge Catholic choir. This feels like a chicken and egg thing. Shit down the chimney. Do it the night after consuming 5 pounds of lobster and a quart of whiskey. My lord, is that legal? My friend changed her wifi's name to be Rick Isadash. She really hated her neighbor Rick. There are two drug houses in my neighborhood. They are within range of my wifi. So I changed the name of it to D1. Open bracket. D is drug enforcement agency. The traffic died down for a bit. I have a neighbor that likes to stand out front of his unit and watch me do things. Bring in groceries. Weed the garden. Etc. The guy hates pretty much any music that isn't top 40 material. So I made a playlist of really heavy metal that I play whenever he is outside staring. Not loud enough to be illegal. But loud enough for him to hear it. He usually glares for a bit and then goes back inside. I grew up in a kinda snobby, upscale neighborhood. The general air of judgmental elitism got on my mom's nerves. So when a neighbor made a passive aggressive comment about our Christmas wreath still being up in January, my mom left them up until July, at which point we douse them in lighter fluid and throw them on the barbecue. It was pretty fun. We also lived about a 10 minute walk from a small public beach with no public parking. People from outside the neighborhood would park on the thin strip of grass between people's hedges and the street. Since this was technically on folks properties, a bunch of neighbors put up professional private property, no parking signs. To clarify, no one used these strips of grass for anything. They just didn't like the paws coming to our neighborhood and using our beach. So my mom hung up huge poster boards on the front of our hedges. 
with handwritten feel free to park here, signs. It irritated the duck out of the uptight neighbors, but there was literally nothing they could do about it, and the folks that parked in front of our place were super appreciative. One family even brought us homemade cookies at the end of the summer as a thank you. TL. Doctor. My mom is awesome. Ship Your Enemies Glitter is a website that does exactly as it says. You can also mail them a literal bag of gummy dongs. There's also the option on mailing half a cabbage to them. Keep sending them cabbage. It will smell really bad. But it's sent through the mail. So it's legal. Poses him and call several local churches and groups to come by for a visit to teach you the word of God. Set preferred time to 8am Saturday morning. Take the blade out of your lawn mower and mow your lawn every single day. This reminds me of one of my favorite Wikipedia pages. HTTPS colon slash slash EN M Wikipedia or Wiki Spite House. When I was a kid, our neighbors to the right were a miserable old couple that seemed to be mad at the world and hated us, especially my dad, for a reason we could never quite figure out, after years and years of abuse, having the cops called on us, trespassing and spying when they thought we weren't home, and listening to their ducking yappy dog, we found out that their lanai bordering our property was an illegal addition to their house. Instead of making the appropriate authorities aware of this, my dad opted to get all of the permits to construct a freestanding, one car spite garage about a foot away from their lanai on our property. He used the ugliest grey cinder block and didn't paint the side that was now blocking their view. Not only was their view completely ruined but virtually all of their sunlight was getting blocked, killing all of the plants they had planted there. The best part? They couldn't complain to anyone about it because their lanai was illegal in the first place. If you are like me and have no idea what a lanai is, it's a kind of porch. Have a couch with a for free sign in front of your house starting in October, and then give it to them for Christmas. What if someone else takes the couch though? What sort of lunatic would take a sofa next to a for free sign in some stranger's lawn? Edit. K so a surprising amount of people have. I would have been scared of bedbugs and stuff like that if given the option. You can get super directional speakers that will only play sound in a very narrow cone, so you don't bother the rest of the neighborhood. Point some of those at their house, and make ghost whispers at night. I used to do this in college to the girls across the street with mariachi music. Find out when they go on vacation. Arrange for a delivery of one ton of pig manure to the front lawn the day before they return. To pay in cash, and say you are the neighbor. This might be a gray area. My sister and her husband made an extremely creepy scarecrow and they have it faced from their backyard to stare into their a-hole neighbor's house at all times. If they have bluetooth speakers pair your phone to it and play about an hour's worth of creepy children laughing or ear rape. You can't just randomly pair to a speaker, maybe catch it when they pair it but they would notice quick. Acquire blackberry seeds and freeze them into ice cubes. Toss seed cubes into his yard. Those duckers grow in thick and invasive like. Checkmate. Had an awful neighbor who was mad at us when we asked him to please keep his huge, not neutered dog in his yard and away from our poor female dog. As revenge, he listed our house as having a yard sale on a local site. Said we'd have free donuts and coffee. Not fun waking up at 6am to people coming up and down your driveway and you not knowing why they're there. A neighbor was a dong, but it was a genius prank. Honestly, I've stewed in that pot. You're better off letting it go and ignoring them. The more you engage the more it will consume you. Kill them with kindness. Shovel their sidewalk. Pick up trash outside their house. If they ever mention it, just say something along the lines of, it's what I wish every neighbor would do. It helps make our neighborhood the kind of place I'd like to live. Also, I am a 6 feet 4 inches dude with a beard. Results may vary. My neighbors built a fence on my property line. Didn't say a word to me. I lined the entire fence with bamboo. They can't see through at all. And it gives me a bit of privacy. Sign them up for random mailing lists. Vacation sweepstakes. Car buying quotes. Etc. They'll be full of annoying mail and random phone calls in no time. Get a real nice stereo system and play loud music or movies until you legally can't. In my area, 
It's when the clock strikes 10.30 pm. You'll have to look this up because there are several sites. But you can actually mail a box of shit to your neighbor. I remember there being at least one site that makes sure that you are anonymous. Be careful I don't know if some are scams. Send him her a glitter bomb. If you live in Canada you can have a portrait of the queen sent to them by the government. That may or may not annoy them. But it would be funny. Develop a sudden interest in owning many wind chimes of all shapes, sizes, and tones. Decide that the best place to hang them is in your yard next to his house. Encouraged my children to invite all their friends over. Move the trampoline to the side of our property bordering his. Let them take the stereo outside. Every time you see a contest or someone selling something, fill out the info card with the guy's name and number. Mailbox will get full of trash. The poop in a burning paper bag trick never gets old. Get an old junker two-stroke snowmobile under the exhaust off and let it run in the driveway. Hope you like two-stroke smoke. Get S fish and put it on the manifold of his car. From petty after rude put a tree in your backyard and have all of the crap from it fall into their yard. Chuck seeds of invasive plants, like weeds, into their yard. Get their phone number, email, and address, and feed them into every spam source. Throw fish into their yard. Relandscape your backyard so all of the excess water from rain or watering runs through the fence into their yard. Spray salt water on their plants from over the fence. File reports for petty stuff to get them fines. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.